What's up guys and gals? Welcome to Lifeless Planet. My name is Luke. I'm glad you could join me in this journey we are about to embark on across a desolate, lifeless planet. I know very little about this game other than it is an adventure platformer type game where you play an astronaut exploring a apparently desolate planet. Uh, something to do with Russia maybe. There's a hammer and sickle down here and this endless road that seems to go to nowhere. I'm very intrigued. It looks really cool. I'm excited to jump into it. Before I do, if you could slap a like or a favorite on this, share it with your friends, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. That said, let's just jump right into it. Start a new game up. The landing site. Ignition sequence start. That was creepy. Five, four, Three, two, one. 25 seconds. I'm scared. I didn't think this was a horror game. Yeah, let it. We just died. So we have apparently crash landed. I'm not sure what that was all about. That was crazy. Um, maybe we're searching for that woman? Has lost love? I don't know. Oh, my head is killing me. It feels like I have a concussion. Where's my crew? Okay, so my head is foggy. The sound of my breath puffing in my helmet is hollow and distant. It's hard to tell how long I've been unconscious. And I'm worried that I might have a concussion. I wish I could lay back down and rest, see if the pain passes, but the situation is far too critical. To call what I to call that a hard landing would be kind. We crashed. Maybe the eggs eggheads miscalculated the trajectory. Maybe we just hit a spell of bad luck, whatever the case may be. This is not the paradise they described to us back home. There's no lush greenery. There is no sign of life at all. Where is my crew? I hope they are just securing the perimeter and that I was out for only a few minutes. I need to find them. Get their status. Figure out just what the heck happened. Crap. I apparently has to crap too. Oh, and I need to do it before I run out of air. Okay, so... Welcome to the Hollow Tab. The latest in tablet technology. So we, we can get documents here, apparently, that will help us figure out what's going on. So we've crash landed. Definitely crash landed on a planet that's apparently just completely barren. And we got some footprints, so let's follow them and hope that we don't get mangled by some extraterrestrial life or something. You Crap. An oxygen leak. Oh no. We're low on oxygen. Must, suffi must find an oxygen supply. I don't know. What does an oxygen supply look like? There's something flashing in the distance there. Looks like that could be. Could be it. Let's jump down here. I got this. We got this. We're gonna survive. Can't die just yet. It just started. Walls caving in around my brain. Can't breathe. Must reach. Oh, slowing down. No. Get to it. Is there oxygen here? Please say that there's oxygen. Ah. Oxygen tank filled. I estimated eight hours remaining. Okay. So let's continue on. Is there anything else here? Yes, there is. Oxygen supply vehicle. These supply vehicles will be sent to the planet three days in advance of the landing party to provide for longer excursions on the planet's surface. However, because unmanned probes have determined the planet is rich with life and oxygen level levels on the planet are near Earth levels, these supply vehicles might not be needed. I think we're going to need them. I'd prefer if these were everywhere. 
Okay, we got we got eight hours. That's a long time, I think, to be exploring this planet, so let's keep going. Some creepy music kicking in. That's not good. It's a gorgeous-looking planet so far. I mean, despite it being barren. I understand that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip, we'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new, and frankly, we also have a few attachments here on Earth. Let's see what we got up here. This music is awesome. I love it. I want the soundtrack to this game already. Looks like we have to go this way. That was a dead end. Can we get across this? Right, let's find out how the gravity is. Pretty good. We made it to the foothills. Oh god! <laughs> I completely botched that jump. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. I think it was gonna fall anyways. Um, that was supposed to happen. Yeah, that, I meant for that to happen. We'll just pretend that. We found our way into a cave, which can't be a good thing either. I know this game is called Lifeless Planet, but I expect something to kill me around like every turn. Is this? I see a glowing object. At least my jetpack works. Well, mostly. Everything about this mission is a disaster so far. The landing took a beating, and with its, and and with it most of the equipment. My suit is functional, but barely. The jetpack can still put on a single burst, which is useful for short jumps. I find I get the most distance when I trigger the burst at the top of my jumps. Okay, so we got a jetpack. I don't know how to trigger that. <laughs> how do I trigger the jetpack? Hmm, good question. Ah, just, just press the jump button twice. That's all it is. Cool. So it's basically a double jump. I wonder if it has, like, fuel or something. If we're gonna run out. I hope not. That'd be terrible. Run out of jump pack jetpack in like the middle of a jump. Why are there no signs of life on this planet? I was following a trackway left behind by my crew, but I got I got separated from their trail. Hopefully I can make my way around. In the meantime, I still can't understand why this planet is barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive. This planet was rich with life. So where did it go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity. Yet. Dot dot dot. Till an alien jumps out and murders me. Time for just a quick bath here. We'll swim around a bit. Get cleaned up. We want to go over this way. This looks promising. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I jumped too far. Jetpack! You're too good! Too much propulsion. So we can push stuff around. I figured we were going to need that little, little rock there. We'll try and get that again, and I'll not mess this jump up this time. Hopefully. We, Dude, no! Hey! I suck at this. I suck at this so bad. Come on. Just keep going in circles. It's like Groundhog's Day. 
Just keep doing this until you guys stop watching. Ow, what was that? A rough landing, I guess. Okay. No. Where do we want to push this thing? We just... Eh, grab it. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. I think we just want to push it down here. What are you doing? Maybe I should make sure I know where I'm pushing this first. I think we just want to roll it over here. So we can use it to get up here, right? Come on. This is tough. It's tough to do. Go! Wish you could just like click and hold. I need to get up there somehow. There we go. Mission complete. End of game. There we go. No, we still got lots of planet to explore, I think. Well, that was simple enough, but I think it's going to get a lot more difficult. Something tells me I think we can die, so... From those falls... Hidden passage. Hello? Is anybody home? Okay, so we got a waterfall. We can go over that way. There's something up there. I see it. A beacon of hope. A beacon of hope, guys. Let's go check it out. Kind of want to go check out the waterfall, too, but let's keep going this way. Ow! Should probably try not to not break my ankle. be a bad place for that to happen. I'm not feeling so good about this. Not with that music. It's a bed. What is a bed do? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus! Landslide! It's coming right at me! Ah. Okay, that was terrifying. We were almost just crushed, made mincemeat. Tenderized by those rocks. book. I can't read that. I don't know what that is. Oh, we found, we found the endless road. I'm guessing if we go this way, it's just, just endless and we just run out of oxygen. Appears to be buildings over here, so let's go towards these buildings. That was crazy. I don't know what's going what on. What is going on here? That's just what I was thinking. It's like we're the same person, man. Weird. Get out of my head. What do you guys think so far? I'm loving this. This is crazy. I love the atmosphere. Insanely loud for 15 years. 
I hung in cryo like a bag of forgotten frozen vegetables. That's what they said, anyway. They played us real good with that story they spun. Another planet suitable for housing human life. Can't believe I fell for it. I actually have to compliment them on the lack of oxygen. It's a real nice touch. Of course, they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could take the I bet I could take off my helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it takes us to break protocol? I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. What in the world is the point of all this? And where did they take my crew? Need to stay calm. My head is still spinning from the crash. Probably need a doctor. I bet they think that's funny too. So from what I gather, this guy's kind of been duped into being an astronaut. Sent to this planet. Said to have life on it, but I'm the vibe I'm getting is this planet is is Earth. You guys feeling that? I'm kinda of feeling that. Maybe this is all just a test. Oxygen levels are nominal. What is this? У меня нет слов, чтобы выразить свою гордость в связи с началом наших экспериментов здесь, в этом новом мире. Когда мне описывали зеленый огонь, это звучало неправдоподобно. Как будто из мультфильма. Я думаю, что это прекрасно. Я просто ошеломлен его красотой. И теперь. I also can't read while that guy is speaking Russian in my head. I'll try. There are no words to emphasize my pride. As I begin our experiments here on this new world, I feel like I should try to probably put an accent on this. When they described the green fire it sounded artificial, like something drawn in an animation. To imagine I would lay my eyes in a world so colorful. I am overwhelmed by its beauty. And now, we begin a difficult journey to cultivate this place in the name of the motherland. The governments of the West call our attention intentions aggressive. They do not believe in the sovereignty that is our Soviet Union. But we have seen so many victories. We repel Germany's aggression in our glorious rise to power fought with valor to spread the communist ideal to other broken nations. But what we accomplish here will drive the Soviet Union ahead of the entire world without ever firing a single shot. We will power the entire Soviet Union with what we learn here. And I'm the one who will lead us to victory. Russian comrade. So, the Russians got here first, probably. This is the only house that has color on it. I wonder if we can go in it. No, we can't. How is this possible? This land is claimed in the name of Russia. We gotta put a stop to this. I wonder if there's anything else around here. If we are free to move on. Take a quick peek around. I see some silo thing in the distance there. We might want to check that out. Yeah, this this place looks pretty desolate. I think we found the one recording we're gonna find here. Let's get back on the road slash, not a road. Leave this settlement behind. On into the great unknown, I see something over here. I don't know how far off the beaten path we should go. I don't know how much oxygen we'll, we'll have. Things I miss. Life has gotten very hard here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. I believe this is a Russian. Should be uh, spoken in Russian, right? I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully, we'll be able to go back very soon. 
things I miss from home. Jabrurashka. I don't know what that is. Laughter. Music. Babushkas. Samov samovar. Medicine. Fresh bread. Milk. And mommy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Is that getting annoying at me reading like that? It's probably the terrible, the most terrible generic accent I can do. Did want to go check out that silo over that way, but this is looking... Oh, gosh. Is this a graveyard? Uh-oh. I'm uh, not feeling so good about These this. graves seem pretty makeshift. Like they were in a hurry to bury the bodies. Uh-oh. Discovered a collection of makeshift graves outside the town. Whatever. And wherever this place is, it seems things didn't end well for the inhabitants. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go check this building out. See if there's anything over here. It's locked. Find both parts of the security code, okay. And you think they'd just leave the code up here, that'd be awesome. Like hidden under a doormat or something, under a rock. Oh, look, the code! Okay, so there's nothing around this way. I wonder if there's a map to this place. Are we mapping this somehow? Where's the map, guys? I'm going near this graveyard, that creepy music kicks in. No, thank you. Let's head off this way towards this giant saddle-looking building. Oh, God. Ah, it's a tornado. No, no. Ah, tornado. Coming for us! What do we do? Where do I go? Listen, I like storms as much as anyone else, but I am not a storm chaser. Chaser, I have no desire to get near this thing. Okay. Good lord. Please don't come back. I just want to check that building out. Without dying. Although that would probably be hilarious. You guys would love that, right? It looks like there's could be more footsteps going up here. Or maybe that's just the edge of sand dunes. But that looked like footsteps. Somebody's been here. Oh, crap. Somebody's definitely been here and they're dead. Comrade? You are. are you okay? Oh man, this is messed up. Listen, you're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm gonna give you everything I can. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Okay, you're gonna be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll figure this out together, all right? Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Did he get eaten by like a sandworm or something? Where'd he go? And now we're gonna be low on oxygen. We gave him all our oxygen. What are you doing? You could tell he was dying. We could have probably just kept our oxygen. The first half of code for access to Southern Laboratory. 331. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of code. All right, well, he was good for the code. I guess. The poor fellow. I don't know what he got eaten by, but I don't think we should stick around for that. I, I'm guessing we're going to have to run back to the town now and hopefully get some more... Get some more oxygen. I don't know that I want to press on any further, not knowing if we're going to find any. Is there something behind us? Because 
It's really, music's making me think there's something right behind me. <laughs> you are low on oxygen. Find an oxygen supply before you pass out. I'm on my way, I'm going. We're leaking oxygen. We gotta get back to this oxygen thing. Everything's getting dark. Getting sleepy. It's okay, buddy. You can make it. It's just right there. We're good. Let's get this oxygen. You got this. Ah, oxygen tank filled. Eight hours remaining again. Excellent. I hope that thing never runs out of oxygen. We can just keep coming back here. Well, guys, I think this is a good place to take a break and um, kind of reflect on what has happened. What do you guys think so far? Crash landed on a planet we know nothing about. It appears there's Russians here as well, and one of our crew members was just eaten, gobbled up by the sand. We found this town, this settlement, um, apparently a Russian settlement, and a graveyard that you're trying to cover up some bodies. So nothing good, really, is going on here. What do you guys think so far? Are you liking this? I'm loving this. It's very cool. I'm excited to explore this game more and uh, figure out what's what's happening, what's behind all this. I still have a sneaky suspicion that it might just we might just be on Earth, like in the desert or something, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. The gravity seems fairly normal. There's wind. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Leave me lots of comments. Let's talk about this. This game is awesome so far, and I look forward to continuing playing more of it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it, too. If you could do me a favor and leave a like and a favorite on this, if you're enjoying this, if you want to see more of it, let me know by leaving, leaving a like. Slam that like button. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.